Fret not, researchers, because I will teach you how to make the paradigm of the study in less than five minutes. Hey there, loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you've just hopped into this video, welcome. I am Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects, and I will be your online research bestie. If you are interested to learn more about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. As reflected in the video title, I will be teaching you how to make one of the paradigm models or paradigm of the study, which is the PC model or the predictor criterion model. We utilize this paradigm model in predictive correlational studies. So in our video lesson today, I will use the research title of my students as an example. Of course, I ask their permission first. So the research title is Impact of Phone Usage on Sleeping Quality of Senior High School Students in Allen National High School. Personally, I like this research topic because it is very timely and relatable and the phenomenon or the research problem or core concern is very much observable, not only among senior high school students, but among all ages. In this research title, the signal word used is impact. I want you all to remember these signal words for predictive correlational studies, impact, influence, and effects. So again, if there are words such as impact, influence, and effects in the research title, the research design to be employed is predictive correlational. Let us first identify the predictor and criterion variables in the research title. So the predictor variable is the phone usage and the criterion variable is the sleeping quality. By the way, if you are still unfamiliar, with the definition of predictor and criterion variables, I will shortly discuss them to you. When we say predictor variable, it is a variable that is expected to predict the value of another variable. Meanwhile, a criterion variable is a type of variable in which its value is expected to be influenced by another variable. So let us now proceed to the research questions. Unlike with the descriptive correlational, the predictive correlational studies only require four research questions in which one would focus on the profile. So the first research question is, what is the profile of the senior high school students in terms of 1.1 sex, 1.2 strand, 1.3 family monthly income, 1.4 number of hours spent using phone, 1.5 internet availability, and 1.6 sleeping time. These sub-variables are assumed to have an impact or an influence on the phone usage as well as the sleeping time. For the second research question, we have what is the level of phone usage among senior high school students in Allen National High School? Third, what is the sleeping quality of senior high school students? And four, does the phone usage impact the sleeping quality of senior high school students in Allen National High School? With these research questions, we have only one hypothesis which states that the phone usage does not impact the sleeping quality of senior high school students in Allen National High School. Just like what I discussed in our previous video, you need the figures and the lines to make the paradigm of the study. So without much ado, let us start making the paradigm of the study. Of course, here on your left, you will make one figure which signifies the profile of the respondents including the sub variables but again we will replace 1.1 with 
1, 1.2 with 2, so on. Then below, you will have the phone usage. On the right side, you will now place the figure that represents the sleeping quality. Since we will only identify if the phone usage has an impact on the sleeping quality, we will make use of a line that connects the predictor variable to the criterion variable. So we have the research question number one in this figure. Research question number two down below. Research question number three. And the line signifies the research question number four. That's it. You are now done with your PC model or predictor criterion model. If you find this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching and please do love research. Bye!